panel discussion this evening is hoping to provide a vision for the future of tertiary education. The Tertiary Education Union would like to see the government open up to dialogue and wants the Minister Stephen Joyce to see that a one-size-fits-all model just doesn't work. National President Sandra Gray says the members want the freedom to concentrate on what they do best, which is provide good quality education and carry out good quality research. As well as funding going from the sector, we've seen lots and lots of little rules being implemented which have stopped people getting on with core business, which have meant more time filling in paperwork and less time with our students, the people we care about most. She says it needs to be addressed how New Zealanders feel about investing in tertiary education. And she feels this government has sidelined the voice of the professionals. Those people know what's best for education and they're the ones the government needs to listen to a little bit more, as well as the communities here. They need to listen to people in Dunedin and say, what do you want from your institutions? They shouldn't make a grand plan and not let us be involved. She says underfunding not only affects a student's education, but also the ability of educators to provide it. So the government's saying, we're going to only pick winners, we're going to invest in them. Um, and I think it's great that they want to get lots and lots of young people into education, but what, in, you know, what do you want in a tight economy where people are losing jobs? You want an education system that provides opportunities for people to go back to study, to retrain, to learn something new. You don't learn once in your life and put it aside. She says educators want a world-class system and they want to set the direction. They are the ones engaging in the work and when the working conditions are good, so are the conditions for students to learn. We're seeing over and over stories like that in, in our classrooms where people have got classes of 50 students but seats for 40. And that's what the underfunding's doing, making it difficult for us as staff, making it impossible for students. Gray says this government seems to have forgotten we are a diverse country with diverse needs and our education system has to match that. They want to hear from their members and the public so together they can come up with a better future for New Zealand students and staff. And they are prepared to engage in a real battle to fight for it. Nine Local News gave Minister for Tertiary Education Stephen Joyce the opportunity to respond but there was no reply by the time this went to air. Dee Karen, Nine Local News.